I am back and today I'm going to be doing a DIY lip scrub video. So what you're going to need in this video is some honey, some brown sugar, and oh I forgot one very important ingredient, I'll be right back. And some petroleum or jelly or Vaseline, it's fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the exact same amount of brown sugar and Vaseline. Actually no, you're going to take... I'm gonna, so I'm going to use a teaspoon of this and half a teaspoon of this. So, <clears throat> i got my measuring spoons here. I already have my brown sugar all knocked out over here. One second. Um, and then, that, yeah. And then I'm just going to take the petroleum jelly. And I have it. And so I'm going to put it in my little bowl. You're just going to need a container. And yeah, and then your ingredients. And you're gonna spoon out. Sorry, my family's here. Of course my family's here, they live here. Okay. And then so, your honey, you're not gonna need an exact measurements, so just really eyeball it. You just need a little bit. And so I'm just gonna add like a few little dabbits. I didn't add too much. I probably added like a fourth of a teaspoon maybe. Maybe a little bit more than that. And so I'm just gonna stir this all together. And create a nice paste. Like I'll just get one second, I'll show you this one, but I need to go grab it. I'll be right back. I just put it back, so I'll be right back. Actually, I can't find my order now. I forgot where I put it. So, I'm just gonna keep mixing, and you can always add more honey, which I think I'm gonna need. Another interruption. Sorry. Okay, so, it's gonna keep on stirring. Until I get like a consistency that I want. It doesn't have to be like paste. It doesn't want to like fall off the spoon, but I want just to look at me. Okay. So here, I'll show you what the angle looks like. On this. So, this is what the jello stuff looks like so it's really just like it takes a little bit to fall off um, which is what you want you don't want it to be like liquid that's like drains off it okay and then you're gonna need like some type of cloth or something I paper towels that I'm going to grab right now and you'll see like q-tips are better actually I think I'll use q-tips I'll use Q-tips. One second. Let me grab my Q-tips after I'm done. I'm going to jar. I literally used this really old, not really old, but like glitter jar. And I cleaned it out so it's all clean. And then I'm going to take my, my lip scrub. Oh, and you can add like pumpkin spice here or something like that. I just didn't want to do it that for this, this video because I don't like pumpkin. And so you can add that if you wanting to you just want to like make sure that it's all good by like kind of like spreading it out in your little bowl and making sure that it's all evenly spread like mine is just like see how I'm just like spreading it out across the bottom of the jar to make sure that there's no chunks or anything And there's no chunks in mine, so I'm gonna take it. <clears throat> I need a spoon for this. Let me guess. No, I'll just use this. Okay. You're gonna take your jar and just like. Fill it up. So, like, I just like filled up my jar a little bit, and then I still have plenty, so. 
don't know exactly how much this makes. Quantities. But. So, I added it all into my jar, and then, I'm going to try to get most of it out, I'm going to actually use my knife for this, don't play with knives, that's bad, okay, if you're going to use a knife to like, Use some of this. I use it to stir a little bit. All you're gonna need to do is just use a better knife. Better knives work. You don't want to use like a sharp kitchen knife. Like, no, where, where are they? They're behind this right here, like, like one of these or something. Is that dangerous? So then you're gonna just like smooth it out the top with your knife. And so I'm using my actual measuring spoon to get this last because I got a I would have missed out on all that. And that's like half of a half. That's like one fourth of a tablespoon. Or a teaspoon, I meant. So that's like all that. That's how much it is on my knife. <coughs> Excuse me. So you're going to just want to spread it out evenly. And I'm going to go grab a Q-tip and show you why. Okay, so this is why you need Q-tips. Let me fix my camera angle so you guys can see. Okay, so it is a very different camera angle than normal. So you're gonna take your Q-tips and you're not gonna put anything on it, but you're gonna like, see how mine, how there's like, it's out coming on the edges a little bit. You're gonna take your Q-tip and clean it up to make it look really Good and smooth so like it's professional. Okay. And you can clean up little bits and pieces here and there. And if you actually like jack and make it a little bit unsmooth, just take your knife, spread it across. It's always good to get it as smooth as you possibly can. <clears throat> Just keep cleaning. What I'm gonna do is take on the clean on the clean side of a Q-tip. Take the petroleum jelly, put it on my fingers, and smooth it around the Q-tip. So it's very like so. That's the layer with with petroleum jelly. That's the layer without it. So you can barely tell the difference, except for the one with it. It's just a little bit neater. And then just move it around the edges. I didn't even think of it. My family hates me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But so many interruptions. Okay. Let's go. Let me go yell at them for being so loud. Okay. And then this is your DIY lip scrub finished. And this is it with the lid on. Oh, and a quick little tip to get the little paint off. I'll be right back to show you my little tip. Okay, so do this trick to get a label off. So if it's like a sticker label, all you need is a, like a like a price tag, like they put on furniture and stuff, where it's like a sticker. Never try pulling them off, because then you just get that like sticky residue. Take an alcohol wipe, like when you get like little first aid kits and they have the little alcohol pads, take one of those and just rub it. But what you can do is, is if you have like one like I do, take the lid off away from your thing so you don't actually accidentally spill it. And that everyone has this in their home. Take some nail polish remover, like a clean Q-tip, and dip the Q-tip in the nail polish remover. 
and you can slowly take the word off. So I'll show you guys when I'm done. I'm not done, but um, one more thing to add. You guys may need parents' help with this. You know, it's not too difficult. So you might just, you still want to ask your parents to make sure it's okay. Um, okay. So I'll be right back when I'm done. Okay, so I have done a little bit of work on my lid. And I took off the glitter and so little well, me forgot that the entire thing was paint. And I used paint remover. Just forget that. <clears throat> so I took some really pink nail polish and made that happen. So I'm waiting for it to dry and I'm gonna have some crackle. So it's gonna look amazing. So yeah, I'll see you guys when it's all done. So hey everybody, I am back and I'm in a different room. Sorry that my bed is not made. <laughs> Let me fix that later. <laughs> Probably my next video that I film will be fixed because I'm going to try to film multiple today. Sorry, I'm looking at my mirror behind me so I know what it look like. Mm, I finished. And, oh my gosh, the logo's gone. How's the logo gone, Allie? Well, I'm glad you asked, even though you probably didn't ask. The magic of nail polish. So, once it dries, it will be even a, a thinner coat. Okay, so, the way I showed you, if I tilt it up, you can see. And then, but from the side, sorry. From the side, you can't. It's a little blotchy, but that's fine. And then, so it's just all done. And then you could even print out something like a sticker and put it, or you have round sticker. You can put it around it. I'll make it like, you can make, like, there's, you can buy a printer paper that has the sticky backs to it. And you could print out, like, homemade lip scrub, blah, 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 and then put it and glue it on there. But this should dry and then it will be all good. Thank you. Bye.